freezing is an interesting concept and an interesting word to use to explain a state of mind when, when we're stuck, uh, when there could have been something that just happened that was terrifying. And instead of fighting or fleeing, we freeze. We're riveted. We might even fall down. And that kind of freezing has adaptive value. Think about it back on the Great Plains of Africa. If there were an overwhelming threat, a pack of lions coming in to attack a tribe of human beings, and one person fell down and looked dead. Some tried to fight, some tried to flee. The person who fell down might actually survive. Uh, it's, it's a way of escaping when you're in a group. Uh, it could even be a way of escaping when there is a, a solitary predator, a human predator, and by freezing, you, you don't give that person the stimulus, the motion that eggs them on. So freezing is within our repertoire. Uh, for, for many years, we studied the physiology of arousal, and we missed the fact that in certain states, people freeze that way. Now, there are other kinds of ways of moving from being fully conscious uh, to being in an altered state of consciousness. That's called dissociation. And shell shock is very much based on the image of dissociation. Uh, there's, there's been a raging battle. People are dead. It's the immediate moment after the battle. And you're not fully in your body. You're, you're, you're removed. For women who've experienced rape and battering and uh, scenes of horror, they understand the dissociated state, the trance-like state. It's, it, it's part of what's explained in rape trauma syndrome. It isn't quite the same as freezing, uh, as meaning that your body collapses and you're inert. But it's, it's another state of being less than whole. There's also scared speechless. What does that mean? Well, there are studies that show that there isn't quite the same blood flow to the speech centers of the brain during certain times of shock and trauma. Uh, that may not be adaptive. It may be if, uh, if speaking at that moment would get you in trouble. But there are many different manifestations that have separate brain explanations that all are states of being less than verbal and coherent and competent and active. And, and I, th I think this sensitive group of writers within the Gift From Within community are talking about this and exploring it because they're so accustomed to being intellectual and able to put things into words and they're describing these various forms of silence that characterizes the human response to extreme stress.